I heard that some of these are slow to start up. This one is not slow and neither is the Vision Pro. I'm recording my screen here so I can get this information to you folks. The definitive benchmark test for web browser speed. Maybe not so definitive, but that's what we've been using. Start test. Ugh. Okay, don't touch anything. Sometimes it's really, really easy to press buttons on the MetaQuest and I accidentally push all kinds of buttons by accident all the time. So I don't wanna do that here. And so far it's looking kind of uh, slowish. This is using the Meta Quest browser, whatever that is, but I think it's built on Chromium. Pay attention to the uh, surroundings. I don't know how this is gonna come through in the video, but take a look at how my vision is sometimes warpy towards the edges. I just put this on for the first time after using the Vision Pro for the first time, and I'm noticing big differences, big differences. There's a lot more greens here. There's a lot more warpiness going on, but look around my hand, it's all weird. I feel like I can move objects with my hand. There is no occlusion here, so I can put my hand behind this virtual window, and the virtual hand stays behind, but my hand passes through it. So they need to work on that a little bit. This thing is still running. I wonder what the score is gonna be here. Now these devices, the Vision Pro and the MetaQuest 3, are not considered the same type of devices. Apple's gonna have you call this guy spatial computing. Come on, we know what it is. It's a VR headset. Oh, are you seeing what I'm seeing? This is, this is bad. 41.1, which is probably the lowest score I've seen in a long time. Just for reference, we've hit over 500 on some of the new MacBook devices on Safari. So let's, uh, let's try this on the Vision Pro. Now, I did have it on before. I just laid it down and now it's recognizing my eye and it popped right up. The usability here is way more intuitive and the video is crystal clear. I'm actually going to record my screen here. If you're used to the Apple ecosystem, you're gonna be right at home over here. I wanna get Safari open. There's speedometer, start the test. It's not looking very fast. I might have to run this more than once. It's speeding up now, so maybe there's a little bit of a lag in the beginning. We'll run this twice to make sure. Ooh, 384, that's pretty good. I wonder how this compares to the M2 MacBook Air, which I'm gonna do in a minute. Let's do a test again, just to make sure. Okay, while it's running, take a look at my hand. Everything is actually more clear, way more clear. There is no warpiness going on, but I do feel like there's less space. So check this out. Here are my hands. I'm gonna move them forward. And this, this is this finger, and this one is this finger and I can see them here on the peripheral of my vision, which is uh, not that great, to be honest. So we got 393 as the test result here. Clarity of the screens is better. The clarity of the transparency is better. Transparency mode, whatever you wanna call it. No warpiness, but there is this weird bubble. Anyway, let's take a look at the other one now again. Now with the MetaQuest, and I just wanna take a look at the field of view here. It just seems a little bit more open, but I don't think it is. I think I'm still seeing this bubble here, right on the outskirts of my vision. And when I put my fingers just through, this is where I'm starting to see it. And this is where I'm starting to see it on this side. So I don't think the field of view is that much bigger on the MetaQuest 3. Now the Apple Vision Pro has an M2 chip in it. This is a MacBook Air with an M2 chip in it. That's what this has as well. So in the spirit of things, I'm actually going to record looking at this uh, screen here and running the test. I'm trying to pinch this, but I know that's not gonna work in this case. It's just a weird paradigm shift when you're used to using one thing and then you have to completely switch to the other thing even though I've been using this paradigm all my life. All right, start the test. We are in Chrome. It looks like it's in a big hurry, 480. So almost 100 points higher, and that's in Chrome, not even Safari. Let's try Safari. Boom, it's in a big hurry. Wow, 515, that might be the highest score I've seen so far. And that's quite a big difference between what we've got running natively on the Vision Pro versus uh, on the MacBook Air. And it's the same chip, the M2 chip, it's the same browser, the Safari browser. So something's definitely going on to slow down that rendering on the Vision Pro. You might have to actually optimize your JavaScript apps now. Bad developer. So this was just a little test to get our feet wet with a Vision Pro as far as developers are concerned. If you're a developer and you wanna see more videos like this one on the Vision Pro and other tests like this, subscribe to the channel. Hopefully I'll see you soon and do leave comments down below. I read them. Let me know what you wanna see with this Vision Pro thing. It's a curious machine. It's pretty awesome. What am I gonna do with it? I don't know yet. We'll see.
拜。Bye